Hello, my name is Dan Getz, and my two words are passive and active. I was blessed to grow up in a Christian household where I was loved and cared for. I was taught about Jesus and how he was God's son who was sent down to earth and sacrificed himself on the cross to take away our sins. He rose three days later and conquered death. My original decision to believe this message was based on the fact that if I did not believe in Jesus, I was going to be eternally separated from God, and if I did believe in Jesus, I would be saved and go to heaven. As a little kid, this seemed like a really easy decision. I grew up going to church and was in all the church programs. I participated in Bible quizzing and attended youth groups and Sunday school. I even prayed and read my Bible regularly. However, my faith was very passive. I simply was going through all the Christian motions, and there was no passion behind what I did. My faith was simply me participating in the culture that I was raised. I like to describe my life then as being good in the absence of bad. I was not doing anything terrible, but I was definitely not actively trying to serve God on a daily basis. My first year of college was a new culture for me. I was out of my small bubble of Christian family. The result was me being very judgmental of others and the way people live their lives. I thought I had it all figured out and anyone who did anything different than me was automatically wrong. Sophomore year was kind of my wake-up call. Up until this point, my life was good, and there was no really tragic events or deaths or anything to really shake me up at all. I got into a situation where one of my close friends really hurt me, and I felt a lot of pain. I had to decide how to respond. I wanted to retaliate and hurt them back. In a conversation with my mom, she reminded me that Jesus forgave those who killed him, and we have a command to do likewise. I had to ask myself, do I really believe in Jesus enough to go against what I want to do? That decision to follow Jesus, which seemed so simple and obvious as a little kid, suddenly did not feel so obvious anymore. Fortunately, I listened to my mom's advice, and it was the right decision. Since then, I have found encouragement from Christian friends and, and uh, have grown in my faith through leadership and the positions that I have been a part of. I have found a new joy in actively serving God on a daily basis, even though I'm Still struggling with things, and I'm not a perfect person. I definitely have much more of an active passion to serve God in both my relationships and in my conversations with people. My name is Dan Getz, and that is my story how I went from a passively serving God to actively serving God. My two words are passive and active. Thank you.